it has a really light kind of celery flavor, but you can actually cook it and make it kind of like into a mashed potato. It's it's delicious and it's not, I mean, I can't say it's carbohydrate free, but it's not heavy and dense, dense and starchy like a potato. It has at the bottom, you know, all these kind of gnarly roots. And this is actually a really nice clean one. Sometimes there'll be a lot of dirt embedded, but you have to just basically get through all those roots to a point where you see a lot of the inside. So if you were to want to do it like a mashed potato, you would cut it into cubes like you would potatoes and, and cook it in water, or you can steam it if you want. Like, um, uh, 3, 325, 350. Actually, that one's pretty hot, so I would say 325. I'm not a big radish person. It's one of the only veggies that I just don't really And I don't dig. dig. And the only one I don't like is wheat. So turnip. Okay, yeah, turnip, rutabaga, the zucchini would be fine. It's not a root vegetable technically, but that doesn't matter. Kohlrabi. Uh, what are we doing huh? now? Kohlrabi. Kohlrabi would be great, yeah. yeah. This is the root vegetable salad. These are the little baby beets. Baby beets. It's kind of a similar texture to celery. It has an anise. So just a side note, I keep a little bag around me at all times. So when I have veggie scraps, I chuck them in the bag and then once a week I make vegetable stock. I just put all my veggies in water or in a pot and fill it with water and boil it and strain it. Yeah, it depends on what it is. I wouldn't put bell peppers in there. I wouldn't do um, broccoli or cauliflower because it's you know, has that kind of stinky or Brussels sprouts, but um, any kind of herb stems, mushrooms, fennel, garlic, carrot, celery, tomatoes. Um, so yeah, uh, fennel, fennel is a member of the anise family, so it has like a licorice flavor. And so I just cut off the top, the tops, using the tops for the stock and then the bottom. And so you have this little core on the inside. Mm -hmm. So I just take my knife and kind of go in there at an angle, get that little, it's like, you know, kind of a teepee shape. You don't eat that? No, it's kind of hard and chewy. I mean, it doesn't like taste bad, but it doesn't really taste like much. And then with this, I hold it on its side because I want some really thin strips. Fennel's a great addition for any salads. It's also really nice sauteed. It's great on pasta goes really well with any kind of seafood. I'm just gonna do long curls here. I like onion really thinly sliced. There's nothing worse than like when you go to a salad bar and it's like you get like a quarter of a whole onion in your salad. If it feels nice and juicy, you know sometimes when they have the thicker skin there's not a whole lot of juice, a lot of juice happening. These usually have like three to four tablespoons of juice in them. So you can pretty much kind of adjust that accordingly. A half a lemon, you know, like two tablespoons of juice is usually pretty fair. This is a little on the smaller side, but. And you don't keep your lemons in the fridge either, you keep them out. I use them quickly. If I'm not gonna go through them quickly, I keep them in the fridge. Probably more so than honey. Honey I use in salad dressings often, but maple syrup has yummy. Honey has kind of a tongue coating bitterness sometimes, a bitter sweet uh, contrast. Pretty much not using anything that animals are involved in. Non milk. Here, if you wanted to streamline this and make it a little faster, you can just do two different, but you can do fennel and carrots if you want, and the dressing versus the top, and then tossing it wouldn't like really have much difference. I mean, I guess. Or mustard. How many days do you think uh, it's good for? Two weeks oh, yeah? in your pantry or in your the door of your refrigerator for a long time. The only thing that would maybe, you know, not be shelf stable would be garlic, but it's preserved in the oil and the vinegar and you know, like it's there's nothing in there that's gonna <laughs> let's take a little um, Yeah, just the little just the little shell. So I just wash my hands. I'm a firm believer in using your hands to cook with whenever possible.